digital technology as a way of making art, video as a form of self-expression, the electronic superhighway. These are concepts we take for granted, but 60 years ago, they were a new frontier. Korean-American video artist Nam Joon Peck made these ideas part of the everyday conversation and revolutionized the use of technology as an artistic canvas. Today, the critically acclaimed Sundance film, Nam Joon Peck, Moon is the oldest TV, celebrates the man known as the father of video art. Let's welcome its filmmaker, Amanda Kim. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Desiree. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, we're excited to be here. Yeah, we're excited to have you on. So what part of Nam Joon Peck's life did you become interested in or enamored with that made you want to make this film? Um, I think it was really, um, I understood Nam Joon was prescient. He had coined the term electronic superhighway, as you had mentioned. But the more research I did, I realized that he was really speaking to contemporary society and the world that we're living in today and how the internet is a double-edged sword. And he wasn't just a utopian thinker, he was actually a realist. And he understood that these technologies could end up destroying humanity or connecting us and be used to help humanity. And so I think I really wanted through this film to bring his name to a new generation of people who may have never heard of him and to make people think more critically of the ways in which we use technology um, and also to think about how art and technology can intersect. Yeah, he was definitely an artistic individual who was thinking forward. And Nam Jun Peck, like we were talking about, coined the phrase electronic superhighway in 1974 and in 1995, he created a large scale multimedia installation by that same name with hundreds of video screens, neon lights, all symbolizing the American cultural landscape. How was he able to be so prophetic in his work? Um, one thing that um, was very interesting to me about Nam Joon and going through his writings, which are featured heavily in the film, was that Nam Joon was a thinker and he didn't read things about art per se. He actually read the newspaper. He would read everything he could get his hands on. And um, people always recall that he would always have a New York Times strapped to him. Um, and so he was very interested in understanding what was going on with the economy, with the environment, um, with uh, politics and the ocean, you know, subjects that are outside of art. And I think because he was so in tune with what was going on in the world mm -hmm. and also from his outsider perspective as someone who lived all over the globe and wasn't from here nor there, he could see things that, you know, others really couldn't. Yeah, constantly seeking that knowledge. And your film, could you tell us more about it and maybe if there were any challenges in making the film? Yeah, for sure. So the film um, was a five year effort, a labor of love. Um, and uh, uh, it's narrated by Stephen Yun, who reads Nam Joon's uh, writing so beautifully. Um, Nam Joon is quite a private person. So um, a lot of his most inner thoughts come through his writings. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think one of the biggest challenges was actually technological, which is uh, kind of ironic uh, in that, uh, it, you know, COVID happened and uh, the production was supposed to begin. Uh, we had to come up with really uh, interesting ways of creating this film. Uh, we created a contraption where I could film people remotely. I also interviewed a bunch of Zooms just as research, but they ended up making it into the film. So it's a really multimedia experience. Um, within the film as well. Uh, and then weird ghostly things would happen while we were making oh. the film. Uh, and you see parts of that in the film as well, like accidents. So, you know, the light would all of a sudden just break down and then turn on again. <laughs> or uh, we'd get weird phone calls from a landline that was never used. Um, and, or music would be streaming through the walls, like Nam Doon's favorite song, but then oh. we would check Four, and then there's no one there. Oh my! And that God. song would be missing all day. So, do you think maybe um, that was Nam Jun Pak maybe saying a little hello? I see you. I see you making the film. Yeah, that's our theory. The editor was there as a witness because we both had, were sleep deprived, and we thought, <laughs> okay, maybe we're hallucinating. And then we looked at each other, like, okay, no, no, no. Yeah, this is we both thought trick. it. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, yeah. okay, that's exciting, scary, but exciting at the same time. And you had mentioned um, actor Stephen Wen from The Walking Dead and, and so many other projects also received the Oscar nomination for Best Actor in 2020 for his role in Minari. In your film, he narrates and reads the writings of Nam Joon Peck. How did that co collaboration come about? Yeah, so I mean, honestly, it was a chance happening, uh, which it was something I couldn't even have imagine at the beginning of the process and he came through um 
the great nephew of Nam June, Kenzo Digital, who is an executive producer and also an artist. Um, uh, and uh, he was friends with Steven, and Steven had been a longtime fan of Nam June's work, and he also really related to the story that I wanted to tell. Uh, he was really inspired um, by Nam June the person. Um, Nam June is someone who is you know, always in this kind of liminal state. There's a dissonance to both his work and his identity. He represents a multiplicity uh, layered identity um, of the Asian diaspora that isn't just one thing. Um, it's it's quite complex and he's never, I never wanted to box him in mm -hmm. or um, yeah, frame him in just one very specific way. I wanted to leave it quite open. And I think Steve, Stephen really resonated with both the story that I wanted to tell and also was a longtime admirer and resonated wow. with Nam June. All right. Well, we're excited to check the film out. And Amanda, if I see a light flicker or something, I'm going to think maybe that's Nam June. But <laughs> we're excited to watch the movie. Nam June Peck Moon as the oldest TV is enjoying an incredible film festival run and will be released to the public this fall. You can check out more at Green itchentertainment.com.